The next item that I hear a lot about is fire. It's an objection because people think that, well, foam is an issue, foam is going to burn, foam is going to shrink or melt and things of that nature, and therefore if it burns up, we can't build houses out of it. Well, if that were true, we would also notice that wood studs burn and therefore we shouldn't be building out of wood studs. The fact is, as we talked about before, is that fire and the tests that go along with fire are done to assemblies. We don't take an individual piece or a component out of an assembly, whether it be a wall or a roof assembly, and test how it performs in a fire situation. We take the entire assembly. We build the entire wall from drywall and paint all the way to the outside and do whatever type of finish is going to be on the outside. And that assembly is tested for fire. In fact, SIPs perform very well in fire tests. Real world examples have shown that fires have um, started inside of SIP structures and they've literally run out of oxygen because the system was so tight it ran out of oxygen and starved the fire and it self extinguished. The fact is, is the assembly works very, very well to control air, therefore control fires. It is a rated assembly and it has certain ratings that allow it to last for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or in some extreme cases all the way up to two hours. These are ASTM tests that are done on the assembly. And as long as you've tested the assembly and it performs very well, fire is really not an issue when you start thinking about how the individual foam or the wood skin re responds to fire issues. It's really not an issue with the SIP system.